In a previous video, which I've linked below, I discuss the various switching options available in GNS3. In this video, I'm going to discuss the GNS3 built-in switch. So let's set up router 5 into VLAN routing. Once again, the native VLAN is going to be VLAN 1. And we're going to have two tagged VLANs, VLAN 2 and VLAN 3. So on router 5, interface F0 slash 0, no shut. Exit, interface F0 slash 0, dot. And let's put in a sub-interface of dot 1. Encapsulation. Dot one q VLAN one native VLAN IP address ten one 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 two five four with a slash twenty four mask. Now at the moment we're using the same subnet on multiple VLANs and that should be changed. So let's configure VLAN two with a subnet of ten dot one dot two. But notice here I'm going to set the encapsulation to .1q and it will be tagged for VLAN 2. And in this example, I'll set the router to use this IP address for VLAN 2. And this IP address for VLAN 3. So show IP interface brief We've got three IP addresses configured. Show run shows us our configuration. We've got a native VLAN and two tagged VLANs. And that is what we've got configured on the layer two switch. So on router one, we need to move this router to another subnet. And hopefully, it should be able to ping router 5, its default gateway. And it can. So this router is acting as a PC, so I'm going to set a default route to router 5. At the moment, router 4 is the only router in a separate VLAN. It's in VLAN 3. So what I'll do on router 4 is change the subnet to this. Set a default route to router 5. And hopefully this router should now be able to ping router 5, the default gateway, which it can. And hopefully now it'll be able to ping router 1, which it can. So let's do some tests to prove that. No IP domain lookup is the command I'm looking for. Trace 10.1.2.1. Notice it's going via router 5, the default gateway. On router 1, debug IP ICMP. Trace to router 1. We get output in the debug on router 1. And if we ping router 1, we see the output on router 1's console. So all we need to do now is configure router 2 and router 3. And we'll have full connectivity in this network. So these are now being moved to subnet 2. So this device should be able to ping router 4 now, which it can. Once again, I'll disable IP domain lookup to make it quicker. So trace 10.1.3.4. Notice that's going via the default gateway. But if we trace to 10.1.2.1, that will not go via the default gateway. That will be a direct hit because those two are in the same subnet. The last one to configure is router 3. So IP address rather 
three IP route ten one two two five four ping ten one three four that's router four that works no IP domain lookup trace ten one three four going by the default gateway and again if we send it to router 2 it's going to be a direct hit because those two are in the same subnet so once again right click on the switch we can see the ports that are configured including a dot one q trunk and access ports in different vlans now again you can change the vlans but you can only do that when the switch hasn't got connections to it don't believe what you see on the internet where they tell you that you can't change the VLAN number or the port type through this interface. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If it was of benefit to you, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.